Hello, welcome to Java Programming Tutorials, Chapter 8, Part 3, Control Statements, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Harish. So in this session, we are going to learn about the last control statement, that is jump statement, which includes two keywords, break and continue. So in this session, we are going to understand like when do we use the break and continue keywords in our programs. So break keyword, it is used to break the loop or switch statement. So in the last session we learned about the switch statement. In the switch statement we had cases. So after each case we add a break. So in the sense once a particular case is executed, okay, it has to come out of the loop. So it has to break the loop. So at that point of time we'll use the break keyword. So let me make you understand it very clearly with a simple example. So let me jump into Eclipse and right now I have a project here. Let me add a class. So the class I'm going to name it as, okay. Um, so the class is jump statements the class is jump demo so then I'll add a main method to then I'll click finish so once I do that I'll get a project here class here created with the name jump demo so let me make it align properly and this too so now I have a main method you can observe very clearly here so now what I do is uh, let me make use of for loop for int i equals 0 then i is less than 10 then I'll increment the i so now I'll use system dot out dot print ln then I'm going to print i there so now what I'll do is I'll run this program so I'll click on this button so when I do that you can observe very clearly it's printing from 0 to 9 suppose now I need to come out of the loop in the sense I want to print only till 5 so at that time what I need to do is I need to make use of break keyword so how do I do that I'll make use of if condition block telling like if i is equal to equal to 5 okay then what it has to do is it has to break Now let me run this program and now when i is equal to 5 you can observe very clearly when i is equal to 5 it's coming out of the loop so it's printing only from 0 to 4. This is the scenario like where we can use the break keyword okay and now let me show you the advantage of using the continue. So continue it is used to continue the loop it continues the current flow of the program and skips the remaining code at the specified condition. So now what we need to do is okay let me remove this again and now let me execute this program so it's printing from 1 to 9 0 to 9 but what I need to do is I need to skip the skip the number 5 and I need to execute the rest part in the sense I need to print 0 1 2 3 4 not 5 6 7 8 9 so how do I skip 5 and how do I tell the program to continue it's very simple again I have to tell okay uh, if okay i is equal to equal to 5 okay don't print that just continue so now when I run this program you can observe very clearly okay I'm it's printing only 0 1 2 3 5 is not printed so I'm telling like if i is equal to 5 just continue don't print that 5 okay this is what the advantage of using the break and continue okay so what we understood from this key from this session is two important statements they are jump statements break and continue keywords so finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel angpro training you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for the reference of our website we're on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day